we were doing an all-day fundraiser, and we were trying to get to five hundred thousand dollars so that we could hire our first uh, investigative reporter next to go next to Jordan Charton. We were trying to get to five hundred thousand. Can you refresh it for me one more time? Yes, let's do it. You did it. You did it. Uh, the first investigative reporter that we're going to hire is Nomiki Combs. Ben, I read your article today, and it was—I was shocked by the language you used. Uh, you were you were saying that it's time She's for the right call the police to right now. fight. Yeah, no, but you need his <laughs> Evidence, column. evidence, evidence, evidence. All this is is screaming and feelings. I, I see what Elena, that, that what Dana's doing here. She's taking an anecdote. You know, the reality here is no, it's data. It's not it's data. data. It's, it's an anecdote from the data. The reality here. No, is, it's actually Cook County statistics. I'm okay, not going to so let you brush Chicago. this off with your lack of education on the topic. These things are not for the people who are doing it to determine. It is for those who feel hurt. If you feel oh. hurt, oh, that's fantastic. Right. I, I think people need to pay attention to, to attention to defensive gun use because it vastly, Megan, vastly outweighs criminal usage. But that you don't have any gun numbers. control is one of focus on, yeah, we do, the CDC report commissioned by Barack Obama in 2013. Okay. Not only that, but FBI uniform crime reports in my book, Hands Off My Gun. Thank Which you, Megan. Which says I'll tell you that. What, I, I, I'm not. Sorry, if I'm in trouble, I hope Dana Lance is next to me. That's all I'm saying. We're way too strong. But since I was so excited for this first one, we've got a bonus for you guys. We hired one other person. We are super pr proud to announce that today we are also hiring Sean King. Damn. Okay, welcome back everyone. Here's the breaking news tonight. Sean King, he is a leading voice for the Black Lives Matter movement, facing some very tough questions today and tonight about his own race. A family member tells CNN that both King's parents are white. King claims he was terrorized at school for being mixed race, but a 1995 police report identifies him as white. Police also dispute King's claim that he was brutally beaten by rednecks in a racially motivated attack. Birth certificate obtained by Breitbart from the Kentucky Office of Vital Statistics also names a white man as King's father. Blogger Vicky Page uncovered this photo of King as a child. He tweeted once that he was the father to four daughters, and six months later that changed to three daughters. He sometimes says he's had three, sometimes four, sometimes five spinal surgeries. Everything about this man's life seems to be slightly confusing or questionable or have some sort of fog around it. And I think his supporters, who have um, donated, by the way, something like half a million by his own estimation to his fundraising efforts, his own supporters want to know who this man is. We're way too strong. 